Well, I was born in Brasilia, the capital of Brazil. But I lived for the first 13 years of my life in a pig farm, one hour from the capital. When I was nine years old, I had my first brush with computers and internet. Albeit in a rather unorthodox way, since I managed to place a virus on my first time using a computer, which led me to troubleshoot this problem for many hours, and frustrating trouble hours, I need to say. Even though I hated this experience of troubleshooting this problem, this experience, however, led me and sparked my passion for science, technology, and engineering. By the age of 16, I was already providing IT services for companies around the globe. I was creating startups, and I was creating innovative solutions. In a recent conversation that I had, I gave exactly the same anecdote about my childhood. They asked, how and why did I, a young boy from a rural area in Brazil, become a technology innovator? What is the secret? Well, I can clearly remember seeing my parents watering the plants of our giant vegetable garden for hours in a row. And by the time they finished the tasks, I could see them sweating a lot under the setting sun. There was a hard picture for me to see as a child. I felt that I needed to do something to help them. Simple. I went to my bedroom, and I had a solution. Right? Not actually. That would be in an ideal world. I only had a plastic bottle, an old motor from one of my toys, and my, my mother's phone charger. However, with a little of imagination and a little of effort, I could see a solution. The solution was an automatic irrigator, a device to automate watering the plants. But I need to say for you, when I was young, I had very limited access to resources, as well as tools, such as an old drill that I couldn't even use. When I was five years old, my father taught me a concept that blew my mind, since I was always helping him solving problems, troubleshooting, fixing things. And that is Gambiarra. Gambiarra. G-A-M-B-I-R-R-A. Gambiarra. The Brazilian art of making shift. That's it. A new way, a creative way for you to create, for you to fix things using the resources that you have at hand. If you, if you tried at least once to turn off a light using an object, or even throwing one if you're more aggressive, that is gambiarra. Gambiarra is more than just a way of creating or fixing things. It's a mindset. In the place where I, can, uh, I come from, where the resources were scarce, gambiarra became a lifestyle for me, in such a way that I only relied on my own abilities to make do with what I had at hand. Sometimes, having fewer resources can lead you to resourcefulness, and which can lead you to create innovation. Well, at this point, we, we, we can understand what gambiarra is. But where, I, where before I only saw scraps, trash, now, thanks to gambiarra and to my imagination, I can see tools to solve a problem efficiently. I could envision a lot of solutions. And the first step for you to get started with innovation is for you to understand the problem that you have at hand. So let's say you want to turn off a light while you're watching a movie in your couch. The second step is for you to understand the resources that you have available. So let's say you looked around and everything that you had is a dental floss and a remote controller. Probably you started imagining connecting to the, to the Swift, maybe connecting to the ceiling and even to, to the lamp. And that's the second step and you're totally in the right way. I could envision a lot of different solutions. I could envision a lot of different innovative solutions to, to solve a problem. But we know that just an idea wasn't enough to ease the burden that, uh, of watering plants for my parents. I needed a tangible solution to solve all, this, all those problems. And they did that with Gambiarra.
I need to tell you that working in, in, with Gambiarra can be a little difficult. And that brings bring us for our third step, which is to actually build a solution. And luckily, in this, in this point, you're going to start connecting everything, connecting the, dental, the, the string of the dental floss in this scenario. And probably, and luckily, with a lot of frustration and troubleshooting and failure, by the end, you're going to have a final-ish solution. With my makeshift irrigation system, failure after failure, day after day, nothing was wrong, nothing was working. I had an idea, increase the power on the motor. The result, I almost took fire at my home. No one was happy that day for obvious reasons. I had an idea, I had a solution, but it went wrong. What was the problem? What could I do? At that moment, I felt that everyone and everything was against me. But what was I missing? It was on my 11th birthday that my father promised me a secret gift. So, of course, on that morning, very early, it was 6.30, 7 a.m. that morning, I went to my, my parents' bedroom and asked for sure for my gift. I was anxious. He just looked at me and said, cows don't give milk. You need to milk it. I repeat, cows don't give milk, you need to milk it. I had exactly the same face as you have right now when I first heard. What was he talking about? Like, is, was that like my gift present, my birthday present? I, how was my face, you asked? For sure, I was not amused. Well, it took me a while to understand what, what he meant. I was 15 by the time that I fully understood that quote. The big point here is that you need to put effort in whatever you're doing. Just purpose is not enough. You need to work hard. On my makeshift irrigation system, nothing was wrong. It was supposed to be difficult, and it was supposed to take effort, because that is part of the whole process. For months, the irrigation system didn't work. Yet, I persisted and finally succeeded. Not just because of Gambiaha, but also because I had a purpose. I wanted to change other people's lives, as I did first with my parents in that situation. And that's all that Gambiaha has to offer for us, a new way to see problems, a new way to figure out solutions. Well, I can totally remember every day I needed to take a bus for four hours just to have access to laboratories, to resources in the capital. And all this experience, I can remember specifically that when I didn't have even the money to buy bus tickets, I managed to create a startup. Specifically, I can remember a night in which my father was counting every coin and placing in my hand for me to go, to go back to the laboratory on the other day. I felt a fire in my stomach, but that work made me work even harder. It was nights like this that gave me purpose. What I need to tell for you is that I started because I needed to. I continued to do what I was doing because I did Gambiarra. And I finished because I had purpose. Gambiarra, milking cows, and purpose, all of those together led me to where I am now, talking to you. All my experiences with Gambiarra gave me the right experience to not only see objects, but with my imagination, see tools to solve a problem efficiently. So I want to invite you 
to get a simple object as a dental floss and imagine what you can transform it into. I want to invite you to, to see and to embrace the lack of resources as a resourcefulness opportunity for you to solve problems. I want to leave you with a final thought. Everyone can become a problem solver. Everyone can see problems in different ways, efficiently. But it takes more than just purpose. It takes a willingness to take risks, to, to have effort, and to not give up. What is the secret? Gambiarra, milking cows, and purpose. Thank you very much.